Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today I'll be painting a cat and I'm just excited to do this one because I love cats and I love dogs. But this time I'll be painting a cat. Actually, uh, I painted, uh, I already did this painting back in, I don't know, 2019. Uh, but I was not yet doing tutorials in the past. So today I decided to paint that cat showing you the process so here are the colors that i'll be using for today's tutorial we have titanium white yellow ochre burnt sienna this is maize yellow or light yellow so just add white and burnt sienna to your yellow and then yeah black so i'll be we will not be backgrounding the canvas today i'm gonna go ahead and proceed to doing the sketch so let's start now I'm going to use black for the sketch. So we will be painting a full body cat. And again, if I make a mistake, um, I'm just going to paint over it. I'm just getting some general shape of this cat so the paws will be here not sure if I will adjust things I hope I don't have to adjust okay I think I will adjust I'm just gonna move right here just move everything right. so I just move everything so it's like um, you're seeing double <laughs> Tiny face. The body. gonna try to work on this right. so I'm gonna underpaint now the cat I know it looks like a yeah it looks like a, the shape of a cat but because of my corrections it, it kind of looks weird so after doing the underpainting you're gonna see the the more uh, correct sketch so I'm gonna get my yellow ochre in white tiny bit of black again yellow ochre so this will be the underpainting make it dark like this I'm gonna try to this okay maybe I'm gonna add more white it's too dark All right. so just like this color so as I do the as I do the what they call this the underpainting I'll be painting over the sketch lines already I'll be adding a little bit of burnt sienna. I don't know if that's necessary, but okay. All right. Maybe yes, maybe no. 
Anyway, I'll be painting over it. This is just the underpainting. In fact, you can even use color blue for the underpainting. I'm just uh, trying to stick to the color near the actual color. Again, the underpainting. For this type of painting, I'll be using less paint and more water. Just gonna stick to the original color for the underpainting. Okay, and also here so that you can see how I'm gonna cover the original sketch. In all honesty, I don't know what time I'll finish, but I'm just going to do my best, no matter what time I finish. So now you kind of know where things are going to go, I mean, the general shape, because the, the wrong sketch got painted over already, so you have a clearer um, vision or um, idea of how the cat is going to be finished, the cat painting. Using more water because the paints are drying pretty quickly. Okay. In all honesty, a lot of these areas will be covered in uh, uh, later, will be covered later. Right, so this area is quite wet. I have to correct that one. I have to erase that part. Again, I'm trying to remove already the sketch lines because it's not necessary. Alright, just going to the face area. Okay, I'm just gonna cover it using the rest of the using the remaining paints on my paintbrush, just like that. So now you have, you know, I'm not painting this area because it will be painted with black. So, okay. All right, just like that. And now using a cleaner brush, I'm just gonna, while waiting for the paint to dry, I'm just gonna remove this part that uh, is not necessary because it was part of the original sketch, the wrong sketch. All right. Maybe here. Okay, now let's proceed to doing the rest of the painting. I'm gonna go back to using my black. So I'll be getting my black paint. 
Just use pure black. And let's start with this area. So I'm doing the tail part. I'm going to create some, uh, what do you call that, uh, stripes. So these were simply markings We're just trying to identify where the markings are gonna go Okay, also on the paw And I'll be using some black right on the head, head part. And again, this is also a part of underpainting. I don't know if you're noticing already how um, raw my steps are now with this painting, because we're painting uh, a furry subject. So we don't want to do a lot of strict lines, like super tight lines. You want to make the cat look softer, of course, uh, because we don't want the cat to look cartoonish. So we're trying to avoid that. So my brush strokes are quite soft, very raw, uh, patternless, really just allowing the brush to do the job for me as well. As you can see, I'm allowing some parts of the paint to go outside the line because that would suggest the fur of this pet. Okay, now I'm getting my yellow ochre plus white, plus brown, again, more yellow ochre, and then white. So maybe this color, okay, I'm gonna, you know, just create a lot of, okay, this is too light, I'm gonna add more burnt sienna, and black, and yellow ochre, maybe this, and black, so I'm just gonna try, Okay, right? So again, I'm just using the tip of my brush, allowing it to create the fur-like detailing for me. So 
I'm just gonna spread this. I know that I always say this, that the initial stage of the painting it does not really make sense. I mean, it probably does make sense to you now because the shape is quite catty, like a cat. There's no doubt about it. But um, in general, this state, this state, I mean, this stage, what I cannot talk again, this stage of the painting is, uh, uh, does not make sense usually. So I'm using some yellow ochre markings on the cat. You know, when I do this step, I feel like uh, I'm really a painter, you know, because I'm just really using a brush and I'm not really worried about tight detailing because I hate tight detailing. I love details, by the way, but sometimes we can do detailing by loosely applying the paint. I know that it's quite contradictory, right? Using, I mean, doing details by becoming loose with your brush strokes, but it works for me. I mean, maybe for some other people as well. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna start, these are just the first layers of white. I'm gonna start applying some white detailing. I really did not wash my brush because I want some presence of other colors on my brush. I think we are in the third stage of underpainting. It's also detailing, but since we keep on late, we will be layering a lot today. I still call it underpainting. And I don't, uh, no, not that I don't care, but that is how I call it. I have my own terms. That. and I'm very loose with my brush strokes yeah again as I was saying earlier okay, right here just follow you know imagine you have a cat right beside you I think a lot of you or some of you have cats <laughs> so just try to observe I mean try to observe as well how fluffy they are. I'm gonna use a little bit of light yellow, like brown. gonna get again like my black just use the tip of the brush
darken it. Okay. Using black. Let's identify where the eye is gonna go. So we'll be doing some perspective because the cat is not really looking straight at us, it's looking somewhere else. Do a little bit of adjustment. So I'm adding just brown and black right here. Some yellow ochre. Some black. My suggestion is, um, if you want to paint along with me, my suggestion is for you to watch this first before you paint along with me, meaning you have to watch it again. I mean, that's just my suggestion. I'm not saying it's going to be effective for everyone, but I think to have a better um, understanding of what I'm doing, I think it's better for you to watch me first before you start, you know, painting along with me. Again, my suggestion only. I'm not, you know, I'm not forcing you to waste your time watching it uh, multiple times. You can do that if you want, but um, if you're having a hard time painting along with me in just one watch, you can simply watch it again. yellow ochre plus brown. Let's identify already where the nose is gonna go.
Tak. So I'm not really changing the colors on my palette. Just keep on using brown, uh, burnt sienna or brown and black. And also I'm not really in the mood to talk a lot today. I'm just enjoying to show you the process. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of, uh, did I say we're gonna use a little bit of pink? Maybe not, I'm gonna use orange. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of orangey color, so I'm gonna get my pink or my, my red, my white, and yellow ochre. And a little bit of burnt sienna to tone down the color. Maybe black as well. All right, I'm gonna use this for the ear, for the ear part. Just tap a little bit of pink there. And I'm gonna outline the nose of this cat. You know, the reason why I'm not really in the mood to talk, uh, because um, not that I am tired today, but I worked out and i just don't feel like talking too much i'm just not like that even if i did not work out by the way i'm just gonna correct the shape of the ear i feel like the ear is too fat it's not the ear that i want for my cat i'm gonna thin that out waiting for the other parts of the paint to dry or the other parts of the painting I'm gonna get my yellow ochre and I'm just gonna spread some of that color randomly on the parts of the cat
Okay. Now I'll be getting my fan brush. I'll be dabbing onto my white. Actually, I don't want to use pure white right away. I'm going to add a little bit of black to make it more gray. And I'm just going to use the tip of the brush to kind of create some um, fur on my kitty. So it's like dry brushing because I'm not really using a lot of water. Uh, and again, I'm just going to go outside the sketch line because I want to suggest fluffiness. If you don't go outside the sketch line, it's going to look a little more solid, which is not natural looking. Solid and closed, so we don't want that look. I don't think someone would l love that look, but if you love that look, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna use the same color. Why is it so noisy outside again? Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna apply it on the forehead. spread a little bit of a little bit of that markings on the face and also on the body I'm gonna get my smaller brush so let's draw some paw details we're like um 45 to yeah 40 to 45 percent that in the back leg right. I'm gonna make this part of the cat more gray because we want to do perspective. We don't want to uh, miss applying some details on the back that would suggest perspective as well. I'm going to make it even grayer. Okay. And going back to black. So I'm just darkening, lightening, you know, just keep layering. I told you that we will be layering a lot. And that is to suggest or to help achieve that suggestion of fluffiness on the cat's body. Some yellow occur right here. More black. Right. 
I'm gonna wash my brush out. We haven't really done the face. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it last because that will definitely give life to the painting. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I think I sound a little, a little uh, not in the mood today. So I'm gonna get my burnt sienna, but I'm trying my best to uh, just be fine. All right. I'm gonna go outside or I'm gonna go along the outlines of these black markings and apply a little bit of brownie color and yellow ochre here and there. You know, it will really emphasize that this cat has a lot of fur of different shades and tones. here remember do not make the stripes look like zebra stripes meaning like straight stripes like that you don't want to do that because um, it doesn't look natural and it's not something that we we actually want for this painting if that's what you want then go ahead but as your painting teacher um, I do not recommend that kind of style So I'm just following again, you know, the patterns of the fur. You don't want to go just uh, in random direction. We also want to follow some sort of patterns. Okay, I'm gonna mix my yellow ochre and white more yellow ochre and white and I'm gonna use this to create more patterns on this part of the cat Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of black just to tone down the color. Right, almost gray. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure yellow ochre. You know, to give it more interest. Okay, now yellow ochre plus like brown. For the paw, this will be the underpainting for that. Just color it this way first before we move on to detailing the paw section. <laughs> One tip, I'm only using, you know, the same colors, but I'm changing the, the lightness or the darkness of the color by adding white or black, this may be necessary. So I'm getting my white. Let's add some highlights on the paw. All right, it's gonna be really, really noisy because I think that's a fire alarm. Okay, I'm gonna whiten the chin part. The chin part. Okay. 
I'm really saving the face for last. And I will adjust the eyes later. I think my eyes, I mean the cat's, my cat's eye is really small. A little bit of lightness right here. So I just wipe Starting to build a face already. Okay, I'm just adding a little bit of water down browns here and there. some adjustments Okay, I'm gonna lighten this part of the face. And also this part of the face. Okay, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna and a little bit of black and a little bit of red. I'm just going to make some details on the ear part. So let's start creating some details right here. It's too dark. Adding a little bit of pinky colors. the face again let's create some more details okay now I'm gonna use a smaller brush 
So I'm gonna use my yellow ochre, plus white, plus black. Okay, maybe more black. Maybe yet more yellow ochre. So it's like grayish yellow ochre. That's basically the underpainting for the eyes. I'm going to gray it even more. I feel like it's too yellow. Oops. Same color right here. All right, just like that. I'm gonna get my black. I think I need to make some more adjustments. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. I'll be getting some white. Let's apply a little bit of highlight inside the eye. Right there. Okay, just like that. A little bit of black to get that dot. Just like that. Okay, I'll be using a darkened yellow ochre on the side. Also here. And I'm gonna thicken the detailing on the upper eye. Gonna get my brown.
Okay. And some more lightening. I'm gonna lighten this part of the nose because we don't want it to be too dark. And just like that. Using some black, I'm going to create some whiskers. And to create some more markings on the face, I'm just going to dab a little bit of black here and there, water down, just to create that. Um, Yeah, just to create that um, patterns. All right, I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna apply that white on the eye. And also, right here near the eye like just on the corners of the nose no 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 not the corners along the bridge of the nose i'm gonna use some white right here to really get that light light effect gonna gray some areas So I don't want to look like I don't want this to look like it's not fluffy on the right on the right side of the face. Okay. Using some more white. I'm gonna create some whiskers. You can definitely use a better brush. Mine is not really. It's an old brush, that's why. And I'm gonna use, since I'm already at it, I'm just gonna whiten along the body of the cat so that really gives that you know vibe of fluffiness.
And using black, we're not yet done. I'm just gonna darken this part of the face. Water down black. Again, I'm just going to darken the left side of the face. I'm just adding a little bit of detailing. Alright, now using black, I'm going to add a, little, a suggestion of shadow. So shadows are not supposed to be uh, strips of lines that are uh, uh, harsh. They are supposed to look softer. Gonna darken. We're not really darkening the left side, but we're just trying to suggest um, that the oops, that the right side is well lit. gonna get some black we're not yet done I think we're 75 percent done shadowing here
add some brownie colors. And yellow occur. All right. Don't forget, we haven't done this side of the cat space. Gonna apply a little bit of white right under the eyes. By the way, I'm using black. Again, I'm going to add a little more fur. Darken this side. Right. Also, just below the neck, try to darken it a bit just to give it more dimension because we don't want our cat to be to look like cat necklace or something like that
Okay, I'm gonna do, get back to my pen brush. Oh, we're one hour in. I'm just gonna get back to my pen brush. Make sure that you remove the excess water. I'm gonna dab on again to my white. Again, you don't want to use a lot of water here for this method. So I'm just going to, again, use, we've been doing this since the early part of the painting, but I'm just going to do this like dry brushing and creating more fur. Good. So as you can see, I'm just allowing the canvas paper to grab the paint from my paint, uh, yeah, from my paintbrush. Therefore, creating that patterns that look more natural than when I, you know, think about it too much. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna lighten the right side of the face. Again, you don't want to use too much water. Right, just like that. Allowing the tooth of the canvas to latch on the paint. I have it done the whiskers because I will get a correct canvas, I mean, paintbrush for that. Okay, I'm gonna lighten. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my yellow ochre, mix it with white, okay? And in the same manner, we're just gonna use this color to add more yellowness to the cat's fur. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use um, pure yellow ochre. spread that color all over the cat's body. And also on the face. You don't want to miss uh, doing the face as well. Okay, now using some black, I'm just gonna reapply some of the lines, but I still want the furry, uh, fluffiness effect. So I'm going outside the sketch line. I'm gonna just pat 
on the fall area to create some natural looking patterns. some brownie color Let me get some more dark browns. I'm gonna get white. When the whiskers are too wide, just remove it or just thin down. Okay, I'm gonna use some white to add some more fur along the map. Apply some yellow yellow ochre on the nose. I will adjust this one.
gonna mark some yellow ochres on the face quite randomly and also some tiger straps Making it look a little more fluffy. Yeah, just like that. So as you can see here, we're applying some light play on the cat's um, body. Some shadows. Just continue applying the colors on the palette. This is not definitely not a beginner type, but of course, a beginner can always paint this one. It's just that it might become a little too stressful. But I'm just showing you how I did it. I would have done this the same way, if, even if there's no video. But the difference would be I'm not talking. Right. 
just lightening the body of the cat A little bit of um, spots on the bridge of the nose. I'm just gonna lighten the shadow. I think it's too dark. I'm just lightening it using white. Just brighten a bit. I'm gonna overlap. Okay, and I'm gonna dry brush just along the right side of the face okay, to give it more light effects. We're not trying to paint over it. We're just trying to place it. I'm getting some yellow ochre. Just to add more yellowness to the eyes. Okay. Let me check. All right. This is good. So I think I'm gonna wait. Let me just add a little more detailing on the paw. It's not too much, but I kind of like it. Detailing. Just under the neck, just to separate the neck from the body.
I think this is good, guys. Right? I think this is good. Yeah, I think I have to sign this now. I can sign this now. So for the signature, Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Since we already, you know, we already did a lot of detailing, why not just go for it? So I'm using my white and I wanna emphasize the light on the eye. It's so noisy, but uh, So noisy, guys. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, I'm going to use my black and sign right here. Okay, I think we're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope uh, that you paint along with me, even if, you know, somehow it's kind of not really beginner friendly. But still, you know, I showed you how to paint it. And if you're really feeling it, you can actually paint along with me. It will be on YouTube forever anyway. So as you learn, for those who are not really beginners, as you learn, you can actually gain speed and confidence as you uh, go on with your painting journey and you can proceed to much more difficult um, painting subjects. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you do this one as well. I hope you learned something from me and see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so tired, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Love you.